Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to offer House Resolution 74, a resolution and long-standing condolences to the families and friends of a group that congregated a few weeks ago on the 40th, 40th anniversary of a tragedy that occurred in Schuylkill County. Here's what an account following the incident stated. On Tuesday, March 1st, 1977, at approximately 11.50 a.m., in the Porter Tunnel Mine, a thud was heard followed by a funnel-shaped tornado of water. The inrush of water occurred, causing the death of nine miners, injuries to three, and entrapment of one who was eventually rescued. According to a personal recount by Ernest Morgan, one of the miners, suddenly there was a great gust of wind, and they knew something unusual was happening. He looked toward the face of the airway and saw a wall of water coming their way. Following the inundation, the rescue efforts began and the first body was recovered and removed to the surface at about 2.30 p.m. on March 1st. At approximately 8.05 a.m. on March 6th, those rescue efforts allowed Ronald Adley to escape and around 12.35 a.m. on March 30th, about one month later, in 1977, the last body was brought to the surface. Mr. Speaker, I remember the tragedy. I was 12 years old, and our communities were shaken to the core. When you lose a loved one, it's difficult. But when a tragedy strikes and you are cast into the consciousness of an entire nation, I think it's impossible to understand what the families and friends of those victims went through. Mr. Speaker, I am joined today by some friends and I would like to ask them to rise. Beth Morgan Harmon, Kathy Morgan Leitzel. Members, please take your seats. Hold on for a second. Please suspend. If we could clear the back area there, guests are being introduced. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, sir, please start from the beginning with respect to your guests. Thank you. My guests, Beth Morgan Harmon and Kathy Morgan Leitzel, they're daughters of one of the deceased victims, minors, Jeff Harmon, Jean Federoff, and Carol Nye. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much, guests, for being with us today. The deceased minors on that day, Gary Lee Ginger, Mark Crow, Timothy Gross, Ronald Herb, Dennis Morgan, John Moyer, Ralph Renninger, Philip Sabatino, and Donald Schaffler. Mr. Speaker, I offer this resolution so that my colleagues recognize and remember the work ethic, bravery, and dedication of a region, and especially these hardworking men and their families. Myself and Senator Argel will be working together to dedicate a state historical marker at the area of the disaster that will always be there to recognize a place of great significance for this Commonwealth and this country. I am proud to represent an area and an industry that supported our nation through two world wars, Coal mining helped industrialize the greatest economy known to mankind, and this source of energy is still so vitally important to today's global economy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 